<laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. You're looking at some data. You want to know like how good is it? Is it clean? Is it dirty? What am I? What am I talking about here? Well, I've been in the same boat uh, so many times. In the old days, we'd have to run query after query after query to just understand the quality of the data that we have. <laughs> Microsoft Fabric. Your data quality and understanding how good your data is, is one click away. Can't wait to show it to you. All right, do the YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, share, do all that stuff, right? And if you want early access to all this content, become a member. And for as little as $5 a month, you can get early access to all of these videos, okay? But don't worry, they'll get released so, and all that good stuff. But it's just supporting the channel, supporting me. I spent a lot of time on this, my wife, is up there. She's looking at me going, what are you doing? I'm saying I'm making videos for you guys. I love this stuff. And she goes, yeah, but what about me? I go, that's a great point. So, um, but we're here to talk about data quality. All right. So, Hey, I'm in Microsoft fabric. Where else would I be? Right. Uh, so I've, I'm in my warehouse. I've got one of my T SQL notebooks. My favorite new way to look at data in a, in a warehouse is a T SQL notebook. If you didn't know what that was, let me show this to you. So I can just like pull up and like, here's my warehouse, right? So right up here, you could just click on new query and I could write a query. Okay. That's okay. Great. That's classic, right? Same thing as like SSMS and whatnot. But if I go to this drop down here, I got this little button here called new SQL query in notebook item. And oh my gosh, it's phenomenal. Okay. So I've kind of been prepping one. I'm going to show it to you. All right. When it comes in, all you do is you write SQL, right? Like here is a SQL cell and you have two options here. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it. You can either create a code cell which allows you to run queries, or you can create a markdown cell, which is your notes. So like I can, if I could put in a markdown cell, I can type in like, hello world, right? Whatever. Right. And I, I can format, I can highlight it. Gone are the BS days of like the whack whack and then comments after it for you to put stuff in. You can actually put formatted text in. So like how awesome, but so I've run a, I'm running a query. I want to understand what is the quality, just the pure quality of the data, right? So if I run this expression, it's going to churn out these results down below. And I've, and Hey, I can go ahead and I can look at this and I can see where I've got values, but you know, I'm, that's not super helpful, right? Cause there's, there's like a hundred some odd thousand records in here. I can only look at what? 16 rows at a time. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life looking at this table. Uh, so what do I do? Well, I could hit look at a chart and that could kind of show me some stuff that's meaningless. Uh, save as a table. No, no, no. Oh, but what, what pray tell is this little button right here? The inspect button. Check this out. When I hit inspect, oh, wait, 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 wait. I got to move to the other side. I'm going to get in the way if I'm on the other side. So here, when I click on the little inspect button, in, am I zoomed in as far as I can? Okay. Yes. You see the inspect button right here. I click on inspect and boom, look at this. Now I can see for every table that that's in or every field that's in that query that I just ran, like look at the data quality, what missing, I can understand missing unique invalid values. And I can just kind of scroll down here and I can find things that might have an issue. Right. So like I can look at like, okay, Hey, I've got uh employee national ID. So missing is zero, but there's only 290 uniques. I can just scroll through this and I can look at all these different values. Right. So like Oh, that's interesting. My nulls here are showing up as, uh, oh, actually that is missing, right? I only have one unique value here, but I can like start to really go in and I can start to find stuff. Like I actually started to put that together. Like, Hey, show me where the end date is null and what the status is. Cause the status up here, if I get to it, where's status, where'd it go? Come on status, not marital status, gender. Where'd it go? Come on. You're killing me here. Status status. Okay. So missing it's on some, but there's some unique records in there. Well, 
if I look at them, the only thing that are, are, are it's null and, and current, right? So if I go and look, I can actually see, like, what are the values I'm getting? I'm like, okay, so it's null and current. Well, you know what? Nuts to that. This is something that I, I don't want it to say current on my reports for, for employees that have, that are, are gone, right? So uh, we're going to actually, like, we're going to adjust, and we're going to write a, a correction in. So in this case, it allowed me to easily see that my statuses are 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 all on the the employees that have an end date, i.e. the past. So because it's current, I'm going to leave it as uh, you know the status is going to be the status. But if it's null, it's going to be past, right? In fact, I got to rename this. So this is status, right? And we'll put a little box or yeah boxes around that and now i can go ahead and i can run this and when i do i'm going to see that the quality of my data is now going to improve because now i filled in all of the blanks on this report and now i'm realizing i didn't oh there it goes look how quick that is uh, but if i scroll down i can scroll all the way over to my statuses where'd it go come on now Statuses, look at that. I've got current and I've got past employees. So now if I'm doing some re analytical reporting, I've now cleansed this data to make it more usable, make it more accessible. And then I could actually continue to go on and on as I work through this data to make this better and better for my report authors. Pretty cool, huh? Like straight up be able to see direct data quality at one push of a button without having to run a whole bunch of queries and whatnot. Holy crap. If that doesn't make SQL notebooks like your go-to SQL experience, I, I don't know what, what would, uh, like that to me is a huge lifesaver. Let me don't down in the comments, what else you do with SQL notebooks? What else you do to enrich the quality of your data? Let's grow together. Let's all transform ourselves into data gods. All right. Uh, I am sure you've left comments and like subscribe, all that good stuff. So, uh, I want you to have the absolute best day ever. Peace. Where'd my button go? End it. <laughs> All right. And I know, I know how much this is. It's difficult and challenging stuff. If you need help, don't worry. I got you. Head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. Click on you need some more information. Myself or one of my team members will reach right out to you and we'll make sure that you're taken care of. Otherwise, and hey, you know what? I got confidence in you. I know you too could be a data god. Watch this video or this video, and he, I'm sure you'll be uh, donning the robe soon. <laughs>